Well, hello there. I thought I'd do a video on the cost of living in the Philippines. And we'll go over some of my expenses here. I pay 12,000 pesos a month for my rent. And this is uh, furnished. And uh, it includes uh, the uh, internet uh, connection. So the Wi-Fi connection is included in the rent. And also cable TV. And, but not the electricity. Now, electricity, I usually run the air conditioner uh, during the day and at night. And so my electrical bill can be uh, anywhere from uh, 3,000 to 5,000 pesos a month. Now, at worst, I'd say if it's really hot, uh, about 6,000 pesos. And my running water bill is 250 pesos a month. Now the immigration fees usually will run equivalent of about $400 a year, 400 US dollars a year is what it comes out to uh, for immigration renewal. And that's like the basic uh, uh, expense of, of what I pay. I don't keep track of you know my groceries and things like that but I know how much money I, I withdraw from the bank every month and it comes out to about eight hundred dollars a month and that's like eating out, uh, gasoline, uh, I have a motorcycle I drive around in, and drive around on and uh, I don't pay any any money for like my appliances and the TV that all came with the apartment and also I have uh, the apartment complex has a uh, generator so in case uh, there's a outage of electricity now a lot of people will probably think, well, that's really a low cost uh, uh, situation. And it is. But you, if you decide to go to the Philippines, then you would you'd need some money that you don't need to spend. Now, how much? Now, I, I saw a video uh, of an Australian guy in Thailand. And he went through a cost of living thing, how much he spends and all that. And, uh, and he suggested that you, you, you keep a 20, equivalent of 20,000 US dollars as an emergency fund. And I thought about that. And I don't have the link to it. You know, I just saw it and, and I just thought about it later and I thought, well, he's, he's probably right. That's probably how much money you need that you don't need to spend. Now, one of the big um, uh, concerns is uh, if you need medical treatment. Now, in the Philippines, they don't take Medicare and they don't take uh, your insurance. Now, there are insurance companies, I think uh, United Healthcare in the U.S. Uh, will sell you a policy that they, they say they will pay your medical expenses uh, overseas, if you're overseas. Well, they probably will, but, uh, but the hospitals here in the Philippines are not going to take your insurance. So how does that work? Well, you have to pay your bill in the Philippines, and then you submit a claim to United Healthcare, and they will reimburse you or they'll make a decision to reimburse you so regardless you're gonna have to have some money to spend um, now uh, now the the hospital system is good and it's it's comparable to you know a Western country but you're gonna probably need to pay cash now you can now you can buy what's called Phil health and Phil Health is, I think nowadays it's about 300, equivalent of 300 US dollars a year. 
it was about forty dollars a year but they raised it for uh, uh, foreigners and I think the way it works is if you're if you're an inpatient then you will pay half your bill okay now there's probably a lot of people that say well you know I, that sounds reasonable to me uh, I think I'll go and live overseas with zero savings well I don't think that's a good idea <laughs> because you know you might run into a situation not necessarily medical but you run into a situation where you need to spend some money and you need to have it so you need to have uh, a uh, emergent I guess you could call it an emergency fund and how much well I would agree with the Australian guy uh, he was in Thailand and he said about 20,000 US dollars um, but uh, that's my take on it and if you want to uh, 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 travel around without any savings or with minimal savings uh, it's just not really a good idea and that's about it and uh, if you want you can donate to my patreon oh wait a minute um, I don't have a patreon um, but that's good because these videos are free and thanks for watching